everybody, welcome. We are here tonight at Disney Springs. As you can see behind me, it is so hot in Florida right now. You pretty much just have to wait till it gets dark before you go outside. Yeah. I mean, it is hot. So we are here hanging out at Disney Springs in the evening hours. We're gonna do our loop. Uh, so we're gonna hang out. We're gonna do a stroll around Disney Springs. We have this, literally this set pattern that we take when we come to Disney Springs. We call it the loop. Sometimes we do the loop in reverse. Uh, but we're just going to check some things out, check out all the stores, show you some of the things that are going on here, check out some new merchandise. So come along with us as we take that stroll. Should be a lot of fun. So our loop starts right here on this bridge, uh, right out there, sort of near the world of Disney. But it, we go on this bridge as soon as we get here, whether you park in the orange or the lime lot, we come straight to this bridge. And then we head across over here by Swirls. And then we head into all these different stores down here. There's some really cool stuff down here. We're gonna check it out. Um, this is the start. So we're gonna go all the way around the lagoon. Back in the day, this bridge didn't even exist. Do you remember that? Remember when the bridge didn't exist? And all we had to walk all the way around every single time. That was rough. This bridge was a good addition, honestly. It makes a big difference. So we're going to head to the first store, which we usually stop at, which is Goofy's Candy Company. Goofy's is right across from Rainforest Cafe. Um, the line doesn't look too bad at Rainforest Cafe, but let's check out Goofy's and see if they got any new Halloween treats in here or any new snacks. You know me, I'm all about the snacks. Let's see what we got. They didn't have too many Halloween snacks last time I came in here, but oh, we got a couple today, okay. We got a little Goofy cupcake, I think that's Goofy. Um, some sort of, I have no idea, apple maybe cupcake? Cinnamon maybe, I don't know. Chocolate cupcake with Halloween colors. We got a pumpkin cupcake right here. Looks like it's just vanilla, but it looks like a pumpkin. We got Jack Skellington. And a Mickey pumpkin. Oh, we have a little witch's pumpkin over here, I just saw. A little Minnie Mouse witch's pumpkin. Okay, so they have a few things. Oh, I see a couple more down here. Looks like a cookie with a spider web. Uh, yeah, and then a, a couple of uh, decorated Jack Skellington and a couple of other ones for Halloween. Okay, so they actually have some decent Halloween treats out now. Makes sense because Mickey's Not So Scary has already begun, so that's usually about the indicator when they start putting out some of their Halloween treats. We brought back the little Halloween buckets. Last year they like went cheap on us and did some little like felt like things to put the candy in. It was lame. And I, I even think they were the same price. I wonder if they've raised the price this year. Um, these have candy corn in them, um, which I love candy corn. Um, I, the ones I got the first year had gummies in them. Oh wait, they have the gummies. <gasps> Those are so cute, and look, there's a Mickey and a Minnie. Stop. Oh, Minnie has gummies and Mickey has uh, candy corn. That's so cute. It says Happy Halloween, that one says something else. They're eleven seventy, which with the discount, that brings them down to like whatever. I'm not sure what the discount is, like $10. So those are a really good deal and you can use them for decorations every year. I still use mine from two years ago um, as decorations. So, super cute. Yeah, I remember those El Cheapo felt things from last year. And I also remember that after Halloween was over, they had a billion of them and they were on sale. Remember that? Weren't they like super on sale though? Like, like at an on sale price that I feel like I've never seen before. Weren't they like buy one, get one free or something? Or I remember we were like, wow, those must not have sold at all. Oh, they also have some chocolate covered pretzels and it says pumpkin spice frosted pretzels. Let the ghoul times roll. Yum, pumpkin spice. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen these before. These are like new, I'm pretty sure. The next part of our loop is the art of Disney. Um, Max is the one who got it interested in this store and now every time I'm here, I feel like I need to come in. Um, and they have really cute um, art pieces in here and sometimes the artists themselves are in here signing autographs and also at the store next door 
Um, well, I guess it's all the art of Disney, but it's like connected as you walk through. There's merchandise in there as well. I love the art of Disney store. Let's go. See if they got anything new this time. Usually when I come in, they have at least something new um, or things that I haven't seen before, even if it's not new. Let's see what we find. I wonder if they have any Halloween stuff. I like these little figurines and stuff that they have. They've had a lot of Haunted Mansion ones lately. They got a couple things. They got something from the Princess and the Frog there. Um, they got Jack Skellington, the pumpkin. More Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Look at this one though. I like this one. This Madame Leota. $140 figurine here. So if you're a big Haunted Mansion fan, there you go. You got more over here too, it looks like. This one's probably a little bit cheaper. Yeah, it's $110. Still pretty cool though. And then they got the Haunted Mansion Bride figurine. All right, let's head in the Christmas store. Even though um, this section over here is more like candles and um, scents and things like that. I don't know, it's part of the Christmas store. Honestly, usually we come in here just because it smells so good. And we usually get to try out some of the free samples of the hand sanitizer smells and things. All right, let's move into the Christmas store. It's almost Christmas time. I'm getting excited. I'm a big fan of Christmas. And so, um, even though the store is available year round, 365 days a year, um, it really starts to get crowded around Christmas time. Like you can see right now, it's not very crowded. Um, but I get, for some reason, I get more excited when it's actually during Christmas time in here. And they usually do have more merch in here at Christmas, but it gets so crowded. Like this place will be a complete zoo during the Christmas season. Oh, this is actually unusual. I've not, um, in the Christmas store before, I've never seen like a big, huge Halloween merch display um, in the Christmas store here. That's interesting to me. Uh, usually that's not here. I mean, none of this merch over here really looks to me like new. It's the same stuff that's at World of Disney, but I've never really seen this display over here. The next store we're going to in the loop is one that I never get to go to because most of the time, whoever I'm with, they don't want to go into this store. We always skip it. But I'm going into it today, and it's the Star Wars Trading Post. Um, and there's not as much stuff in the Star Wars Trading Post as there used to be, um, but it's a pretty good it's a pretty good um, store. And they did bring lightsabers back into this store where you can do the, like, create your own custom lightsabers, which they took away for a while. I don't know why, but they are actually back. So I haven't been in this store for a while. Here's the lightsaber experience. This guy right here is checking one out. You can actually... Look at all the different handles, kind of explore it. So if you don't want to do, you know, if you're not doing the lightsaber experience at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, you can do uh, a similar one here in this actual store. Uh, it's not going to be quite the same as Sabi's workshop, but you can still build one and you can get the experience here in Disney Springs. Um, and then they just have tons of cool Star Wars merch in here. Look at this stuff right here. I said they actually have 30% off the of Legacy box lightsaber sets. 200 bucks for Star Tours, dude. Little figurines. They also do have costumes in here. Um, so they have, uh, if you're looking for costumes for Halloween, they've got different helmets in here. And then they do have some of the uh, clothing. Like you can see, this is like the Moon of Endor um, Rebel um, Alliance like garb that they wore. Obviously, you know what those are. You got Jedi stuff. So, lots of different things. It's a good look at some of the Star Wars helmets in here. Look at, that look at that Darth Vader helmet. I mean, that thing looks straight up legit. Of course, you got one there from The Mandalorian. Look at this. This Baby Yoda, like little dog, little dog hut here. He's in a pumpkin. <laughs> So cute, it's $26.99. Totally worth it. And he's wearing a little purple outfit. <laughs> We're heading to Trends next underneath these twinkly trees. I always think that they're super cute. See them behind me? They have little twinkling lights in it. Um, they just uh, gave Trends a little bit of a makeover in one area of the store down here on the end. Um, I guess the other place is called Marketplace Co-op, so where Trend, Trend, I always call it Trends, but it's just Trend. Um, is they redid the whole inside of it. It's, it's really cute. Got 
there's actually a lot more space in this store than there used to be. There used to be tons of like racks and stuff and it was very cluttered. I actually think they've done a good job of like opening the space up and making it feel a little bit moder more modern because it didn't feel as modern before. Um, they've added these like cute little like, you know, those little signs there with the little neon writing. They've added a nice little place to sit. Which, by the way, these seats, this is probably my favorite addition to this store because whenever Candy's in here shopping for, you know, 30 minutes, I can hang out right here in these nice little, I don't know, velvet couches or something. I don't know what they're made out of, but um, yeah, this is my new favorite hangout spot, plus some of the air conditioning. Right in the center between Trends and Marketplace, they have a little pet shop. Where you can get cute little like doggy clothes and costumes and little cat things, cat collars. Look, they have actually a lot of stuff. And of course, it's all like you know Disney themed. Check that out. Look at those costumes. I mean, come on. You got Cinderella. You got um, Sully from Monsters Inc. I mean, come on. Too cute, man. They have so much pet stuff in the store. The spot that I'm walking through right now is um, Tommy Hilfiger um, and it's been different things I think it was like what was it Dooney and Burke or something at one point and then it was National Geographic temporarily and now it's Tommy Hilfiger so there's a lot of actually really nice stuff in here but it's all also very expensive it's like the bougie area be prepared to see something weird when you go around this corner really is there something different I feel like I've never is it weird what do we got what in the world? What in the heck is this? What is this? This used to be an art area. Now it's like a sail rack? Wow, that is so weird. I'm so used to seeing like art here in these spaces. There used to be art hanging here. There used to be um, kind of a um, Marvel, like Avengers, Iron Man was here. And it was like a really cute section back here. And now it's like sail racks. I feel like I just walked into a TJ Maxx. It's very weird. Is everything here on sale? Yeah, everything. Look, buy one, get one 50% off. I wonder if it's gonna be like this temporarily. I mean, it looks like a bougie TJ Maxx. I mean, you know, it's not exactly TJ Maxx, but it makes me feel like I'm a TJ Maxx. Oh, check this out. It's got a sign right here that says, Wandering Oaken's Trading Post from uh, Frozen, obviously. Big summer blowout. Makes sense. It's kind of a cool sign. It's got a big summer blowout, which is what this is, a big summer blowout. I'm guessing this is a lot of the merchandise that's been left over from summer. Um, and so they've created this like big summer blowout sale area. But it's just weird because I'm not used to A, seeing giant sale racks and sale areas at Disney World because they hardly ever mark their stuff down. Usually they send it to outlets and sell it there this is so weird. Look what I found. Leftover 50th anniversary merchandise. Now's your chance. If you didn't get any of it or you didn't get much of it and you were wanting to get some of the 50th anniversary merchandise for super cheap, now's your chance. Um, yeah. I mean, it's 50% off. That's a big deal. That's a lot when it's, I mean, stuff's expensive at Disney, so 50% off is a lot. It's a lot off. I'm so shook, because a lot of the stuff I see back there has not been here very long. It's the weirdest thing. Am I in Disney? ch 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 Dale Rescue Rangers. danger I don't think that's worse. They just released an entirely new Chippendale Rescue Rangers line. It's part of the Decades collection. I think this is the 90s, is it? I think collection. I'm pretty sure it's 90s, not 80s, but uh, big fan of the 90s cartoons back in the day that they used to have. I think that was the best, one of the best generations of cartoons. So if you're a fan of Rescue Rangers, now's your chance. Disney, the best store on earth. 
Love this store. Now, we already did an extensive video on the Halloween merchandise in here. I'll link to it below if you haven't seen it. You're gonna wanna check it out because there is a ton of Halloween merchandise. But when we did the Halloween merchandise, we didn't have enough time to really go through in detail all of the other collections, like the Hocus Pocus collection, the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, and the Haunted Mansion collection. So we're gonna hit up a few of those items right now. They have a special Haunted Mansion chest set. Wow, this actually looks really good. It's light up and it's on sale. It's only $49.99. It says normally $99.99, but it's got a special price right now. Man, everything's on sale. I guess because summer's over and everyone's gone back to school, a lot of the stuff here is on sale right now. Um, they have a bunch of Haunted Mansion stuff um, and a lot of it's new, like a lot. Weirdly so. I don't know if it's because it's Halloween time or what, but there's a lot of Haunted Mansion stuff. Um, and I really think this crew neck is cute because at first glance you don't even realize it's Haunted Mansion, so it's kind of understated. But if you look at it, you definitely see that it is. Um, it's kind of like if you know, you know. Um, it's $49.99, but it's super soft, so I feel like this is worth it. Some of the Haunted Mansion stuff here is from the movie, the new Haunted Mansion movie. Like, for example, this mug right here. You can see it's definitely part of the movie. Um, this is $19.99. Um, looks cute. Even on the inside, it's got like a Haunted Mansion logo in there. Um, but a lot of the merchandise also is just Haunted Mansion, the attraction, I'm noticing. So um, they actually have a bunch of stuff. So they have a bunch, uh, they have some kids Haunted Mansion too, stuff too. Which at first glance, I thought this was cute, and it is. It's kind of like a crop top, but crop top for little kids is weird. But if you know anything about kid sizes, this is a 2T, 2-3T. Two, Look how wide it is. It's like as wide as it is long, if not wider than it is long. It's $25.99, but it's super soft, but this is not going to fit your uh, 2 or 3T. Definitely not. They do have this wig and cape set, um, which I think is cute. It's $69.99 really expensive um, it's Madame Leota um, her wig and I guess cape I don't know that she wears a cape in, in the Haunted Mansion but I guess um, when she had a whole full body she did they also have the veil from the lady who cuts off our husband's heads and it has like the glowing uh, wreath of flowers around her head it's really cute um, this is $39.99 think that's that bad and you could just uh, put a little white dress on um, and you would have a whole Halloween costume so I just realized it's not a cape it's the tablecloth where the crystal ball is sitting on see so it's your head floating on the table that's what that's supposed to be check out this light up skull Arr, Jack Skellington's head um, I think he's what did it say $29.99 for this light up head. He's not showing up very well on the camera, I don't think. I don't know. I can't tell. He's showing up really good to me. But it's a little light up head. Ooh, and I went to set it down and change colors. See what happens when I hit it. Change the blue. Purple. Sorry, I don't know. I don't have anything else hard to hit it against. Haha, <laughs> it's cool. This fleece hoodie um, is really cute. It's for kids. It's $44.99, but it's a super cute jacket. It feels really warm, but it's not like too warm. Um, it's Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, it goes up to a size 13 kids, which I feel like I've never heard of a size 13 kids. But um, it's really cute. Um, I was trying to see if they have my friend Rachel's daughter size, but they don't, but I think they did. But it looks like they're actually selling out of that stuff. So if you want one, you better get it now. <laughs> Hocus Pocus fan. If you're a big uh, fan of Hocus Pocus, you can have a fan of Hocus Pocus. And all for the low, low price of I have absolutely no idea because they don't put prices on stuff half the time. Ooh, they've got Binks. If you're a fan of Binks, there you go. Um, I think he's $26.99, which I feel like is a lot. This Banks is not very big, but... Hocus Pocus! Lots of Hocus Pocus merch. We just caught this uh, brand new Peter Pan collection here. Um, so a lot of brand new stuff for Peter Pan if you're a big fan. Um, I guess it's okay. I'm not honestly not like digging 
the vibe and the colors, but yeah, it's very old school Peter Pan, obviously. You got the original, but I don't know that I'm a big fan. I, I'm not like liking much of anything that I'm seeing here, but it's okay, I guess. Check out this cool Pirates of the Caribbean coin bank. It says it's an interactive coin bank and it says lights and phrases. So I'm guessing when you put money in it, I don't know where the money goes, maybe on the top of his head. It lights up and talks. That's pretty neat. And it's only $29.99, which I don't think is that bad, actually. Well, that's the loop. We usually finish the loop with World of Disney. Sometimes we start with World of Disney and go the other way. So now we're headed back. We parked at the orange lot, so we're headed about all the way back to the other side, over by Chicken Guy and Blaze. And so part of that usually is we hit the um, Disney Style Store on the way in or on the way out. And then sometimes we may hit Gideon's over here for cookies or maybe Everglazed over there for donuts. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling donuts tonight. I might have to stop at Everglades before we leave, so we're gonna head over to Disney Style first and um, we'll see what happens after that. This is actually one of our favorite stores at Disney Springs because it does actually have unique merchandise in here that you can't find anywhere else in uh, Disney Springs at all. Um, or really anywhere else in Disney World. It actually is like Disney style stuff. Some of the stuff they have in here you find in other places, but they have a lot of stuff that's fairly unique right here. Look, I think this is cute. They've had Jasmine stuff for a while, but it's one of those semi-crops semi again. I wish they would either do crop or not crop. Semi crop's kind of just a weird length, but look, I think this is really cute. It says unlock, unlock the magic, and it has kind of this like rounded bottom. I think that's super cute, and it doesn't have a price, so I can't tell you how much it is on any of them. Price. Um, this one does have a price at 60. Um, it's kind of like this thermal material. It's like it feels really comfortable. This is painted on. It might crack. Um, actually, it probably would. It has a gold zipper. Um, and then on the back, this also would probably crack, but it's really quality as, um, as far as the material goes. It's really cute. And no trip to Disney would be complete unless we stopped at Starbucks. Somebody over there just has to have a Starbucks. But luckily, it's not that busy because sometimes we wait a while. What'd you get? Trenta unsweetened hash and iced tea. That's what I always get. <laughs> it is good. It is good. Um, little known, I feel like not a lot of people get it. Most most people get the sweetened version or like the lemonade, passion lemonade thing or whatever. But the unsweetened passion iced tea just tastes like straight lemon juice and ice water. And it's delicious. Well, that's it for Dizzy Springs. That's our trip. We did the loop. We checked out a bunch of different stores. Now, I'm going to say, I don't know what's going on with Disney. I, I mean, maybe, are they, do you think they're struggling? I don't know, I saw a lot of sale items. I feel like I've never seen that before. Have you? No, and I also noticed that some of the items that were in the buy one, get one free section at Trends, in the back of Trends, um, were full price at other stores. I saw um, some in Disney style and in World of Disney that were full price, not buy one, get one half off, but if you go to Trends, they are, because I saw them. I even saw um, sales in some of the other stores as well, not just the big store yeah. um, or that big that big sale area, um, which is really unusual. Strange. Some of the stuff that was in the sale area was 100th anniversary stuff. Yeah. Which like they literally new. just created. Yeah. Like just came out with brand new 100th anniversary stuff was already in the sale area. Everything They usually always send things to the outlets. I feel like they don't ever put anything on discount. I remember last year we waited. We waited last year for like a good month after Halloween for some of the Halloween merchandise to come down in price and it never did. Yeah. Remember that? And then eventually it just disappeared like it went to like outlets. Um, so the fact that they're already got a bunch of stuff on sale is really strange to me. I don't know what's going on. Big summer blowout here at Disney right now. Get in here, grab the stuff when it's on sale. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this stroll around Disney Springs. Saw the sights, saw a bunch of different stores, kind of check out, checked out our loop. 
Don't think we're going to get any snacks tonight, so we'll do that on another night. But hope you enjoyed this episode. Until we see you next time, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.